Now that our app is in the App Store, we can see it live. If you get your approval email, it may take a full day for the store to index and have the app searchable. So if it isn't there immediately, give it a little bit more time. There are two places we can view our app. The first is in the store on the device. Since the emulator is a full-featured Windows phone, we can see it there. So I can go into the Windows Store and then search for my app. As you can see, it uses the icon that we created earlier. And if I go into this, it shows the icon, any reviews that you might have received for the app, and also the screenshots. It shows the screenshots that are matching the phone that you are actually looking at the store on. So if you're using a 720p phone, it'll show the 720p screenshots. You can also view your app on the online store using a web browser. If I go back to the developer center and I go to the dashboard and I access my specific application, if I go to the details tab, it'll then give me all those additional details of the location of where my app is on the store. If I click this link, it'll take me directly to the app. As you can see, it also shows the same product image, screenshots, and all the other information we provided when we created our app. With that, we've now completed our app, and it's now in the store. From this point, if you decide to add new features or enhancements to your app, you can work on them and then submit updated versions to Microsoft. Remember, if you're updating an existing app, you don't want to create a new app submission, but update the existing app. Otherwise, you might have two versions of the same app in the store, which could lead to confusion. In the next video, we'll wrap everything up, and I'll give you some pointers on where to go next.